Gibbons calls upon wind engineer Roy DeNoon. He puts a scale model of the HQ through a high-tech wind tunnel test. Right at the start, Craig Gibbons actually called me and said, we've got something really unusual coming up. Can you take a look at it and give us your first best guess of what the wind loads might be? Give us some guidance on how to get to some loads for the foundations because this is running on such a fast track schedule. Got all our zeros? Yep. Danoon wastes no time in firing up the fans. If the tests reveal the wind loads are higher than predicted, the foundations may have to be redesigned. When we look at the really extreme wind speeds in the Middle East and in this region, we find that the highest, what we call gust wind speeds, the short events, are caused by thunderstorms. During the spring in Abu Dhabi, the intense sun heats the moisture air, causing thunderstorms. Wind speeds can escalate up to 85 miles per hour. The key issue with thunderstorms in this region is that they give the absolute highest gust wind speeds. Now, for the very, very tall buildings, that's not too critical because they occur down low. For Aldar HQ, they were really critical. Thunderstorm winds are strongest between 160 and 490 feet above ground. Aldar HQ is right in the danger zone. In advance of getting the wind tunnel test, uh, we'd speak a lot with the wind tunnel engineer, Roy Danoon. And Roy would wind me up about the kind of loads he was getting, etc. And uh, knowing that the piles were going in as we spoke. The wind puts the building's narrow base under pressure. It wants to twist the structure. The foundations must be strong enough to resist right, these forces. A little bit more smoke there, Doug. And now if you could just crank the speed up in the tunnel just a touch. A little bit more. Danoon analyzes the wind tunnel data. Hmm. Fortunately, yeah, the results are positive. When I got the results back from the wind tunnel test and they were within an absolute whisker of my early predictions. And I was just delighted by that. I couldn't wait to get on the phone. They were pretty relieved, I think, because I think they'd been sweating on it a bit. It was a great relief to know that Roy was just winding me up and that in actual fact uh, the wind loads were very much uh, in line with what our expectations were. But the relief is short-lived.